gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Maggiano's and the second act of Blue Sinatra. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you're in for a treat. We close tonight. We've done four Friday evenings, two shows each Friday, of a part of a theatrical presentation. Many of you are familiar with the television show um, that has catapulted people to stardom, American Idol. You all know American Idol? How many here know American Idol? Okay. Well, it had a, it had a daddy and a mommy. It was called Star Search. And Star Search was the first show of its kind that catapulted people to stardom. Star Search is one of their original female vocalist winners was the lady you're going to see tonight, Miss Peggy Blue, one of the most fabulous singers today. Let's hear it for Peggy Blue. There's a well-deserved applause because Peggy used that win to catapult herself to the recording studio, to co-starring on Broadway, to singing with people like Whitney Houston, Stevie Wonder, Luther Vandross, Barbara Streisand, you name them all. She also recorded numbers of hits records in England and other nations of Europe. She is with us tonight featuring her new show, which is called Blue Sinatra, singing the songs of the man whose portrait hangs on the wall, Frank Sinatra. Now, Frank is a legend. People could say, what does a woman named Peggy Blue have to do with Frank Sinatra? We know that Frank was a, an American male, white, born in New Jersey. Peggy is a Native American black woman born in North Carolina. What could they possibly have in common? They have a lot. Both of them were raised adoring the music of Billie Holiday. Both of them were signed to Capitol Records. Both of them were told mid-career that they would never sing again by doctors and both proved them to be wrong. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, if Frank Sinatra were born a black woman named Peggy Blue, this is what he might sound like. The Shadows is proud to present Blue Sinatra and Miss Peggy Blue.